Hello and welcome back and uh, thanks for joining the final session of today. Um, it's the, the first day of the, the Tambo Live 2022 uh, event. I'm Sasha Wilson, I'm the Senior Commercial Director at Avalara and uh, very excited for um, not only to be sponsoring the day today but also to be uh, co-hosting the event and introducing all the sessions and speaking to all the all the speakers. For those who don't know who Avalara are, we are specialists in global cross-border tax. So we're the people to speak to if you ever have any questions about um, selling cross-border and any uh, any tax obligations that, that, that may be being breached. We help businesses understand those tax obligations. We help them get registered for the right kinds of tax. And our, our software plugs into e-commerce platforms, marketplace platforms, billing systems and ERPs to make sure that the right duties and taxes are being calculated in the checkout. Uh, as I say, I'll be co-hosting today. Um, I'll, we will have a section at the end um, after the session by Optiseller um, where we'll be able to answer any questions. So if you do have any questions, please use the queue, the question function in the Totem platform to submit those and we'll get to those at the end. Um, and then we can move on to the session. So today we're going to be joined by Paul Taylor. Paul Taylor is the uh, customer success specialist for Optiseller. And Paul's going to take us through a presentation on how to optimize your sales on eBay. So, Paul, I'm going to hand over to you. Okay. Thank you, Sasha. So, hi, everyone. My name is Paul, and I work in the customer success team here at Opus Seller. I'm pleased to be here with you all today at Team Bay Live. A little bit of background about myself. I've been with Opus Seller for a short while now, where we provide data, insight, and guidance to sellers on eBay's best practice and also where to prioritize your efforts when improving and optimizing your listing data. I do this using a combination of my own experience and my product knowledge of the tools we have available at Opus Seller. Prior to this role, I've been working in e-commerce for a marketplace management and repricing software company for over nine years typically advising eBay, Amazon, and Shopify sellers about the mechanics of things such as scaling the business, integrating with suppliers and couriers, migrating onto international channels, and stock sync across the mall. I've lost count of how many times I've been asked the question, how do I sell more, from the many conversations I've had with different sellers over the years. So what are we covering today? Today is all about the tangible steps you can take to improve your effectiveness and maximize your sales potential on eBay. I know from experience that it can be tempting for a seller to try to go for a quick win and simply list and lower your price to try to remain competitive. Whilst that can be an effective strategy for some competitive marketplaces, however, it's not the only recommended option for eBay. So rather than simply trying to undercut the competition on eBay, Instead, you'll be advised to try to outperform them too. You can do that by taking the tangible steps that we'll cover today. Today's agenda will be a quick introduction about OptiSeller, the importance of data, some tools you can apply to your eBay store from today, a summary with key takeaways, and then followed by a Q&A session with this time. The company was founded in 2004. We have over 13 years experience in e-commerce, specializing in online marketplaces. We've assembled a highly experienced team of industry experts, many of whom joined us directly from eBay and associated partners you will already be familiar with, such as Channel Advisor, Volo, etc. We also have several people on our team who run eBay and Shopify stores too giving us great insight into the benefits and challenges of selling online. Over the past nine years of working closely with eBay, we have developed a deep understanding of how eBay works and what is needed to achieve success consistently on the marketplace. It's my pleasure to be able to share some of that knowledge and experience with you all today. Now the intros are out of the way, let's dive in. Unfortunately, when it comes to eBay, there is no silver bullet. However, there are a multitude of things I can do to improve your eBay visibility. That's where optimizing your data comes in. 
Before we do that, it's important to show you the circle of conversion. This chart is aimed at eBay, but is also is highly relatable to other marketplaces and the wider e-commerce sector and shows the compound effects of improving your conversion rate over time. The higher your conversion rate means you will rank higher organically within search, thus resulting in driving more views to your listings, and then in turn, it will generate more sales of your products. This goes on a loop, on and on. For example, the higher that your listings are rank ranking organically within search means the more views or impressions your listings will receive which in turn will lead to more sales and a higher overall conversion rate. I call it a wheel of fortune. Now we can talk about the fundamentals. It is so important to get the fundamentals right. Granted, a lot of what you see here, many of you will have heard it all before, but that doesn't mean you should ignore the fundamentals. From my experience, speaking to many sellers in several different verticals on a daily basis, some new to eBay and some very experienced, most of them have the same thing in common. They treat an eBay listing as a one-time job. When you've actually done most of the hard work, getting the item listed on the eBay in the first place, why stop there? There is more you can do. In this section, We'll cover what is in your technical and tactical toolbox, and I'll explain a bit more about how they can empower your business growth. The technical area covers things such as product categories. It is essential to be in the right category before you even begin any product optimization. Title optimization, focusing on your eBay listing titles. You have 80 characters to play with, use relevant and quality descriptive information about your item, and don't use generic, non-specific keywords. Even though they may, may draw in lots of views and impressions, non-specific keywords can have an adverse effect to your conversion rate. And product optimization. This covers a multitude of areas, and in particular, item specifics. These are your eBay SEO. Overlook these at your peril. We'll dive deeper into item specifics later on in the session. The tactical areas to cover are things such as seller rating. It's important to get your account to top rated and aim for premium service if you can, as this provides you with a boost in search. And keep a close eye on your DSRs, your detailed seller ratings. Customer service. It's an obvious one, but provide your customer with a quality transaction that can build trust and makes them want to buy again. Perhaps also entice your customers with coded coupons to get them to repurchase in the future. Free postage. We all know free postage forms part of eBay's best match, but also review your dispatch times and shipping options and give your customers a choice on the level of service. Aim for one, two, and three day free delivery, or at least offer a free and a paid for next day service option. These are just a few examples to consider before even looking at your pricing and promotional activity, as it gives you a strong foundation to build upon. If you do all of these well, you'll be putting yourself in a really exciting position for growth. Now, moving on to discuss some of the technical leaders in your toolbox. This is the part of the session you've all been waiting for. Here are the four technical headline things that you could and should be doing from today to improve your eBay performance. I'll dive into each one of the four in more detail shortly. These are not ranked in any order as they are all weighted to improve your conversion and sales rate. Just to call them out, they are as follows. Category optimization listing optimization, fitment data, and listing quality. I appreciate we're all busy. And if you only had an hour a day to improve your eBay listings and sales performance, what would you focus on? The purpose of this session is to direct you to focus at least on one of these. So let's get stuck in. 
So first of all, optimizing your listings and categories is crucial to success on eBay. First thing, you need to make sure you list your items in the right eBay category. It sounds straightforward, but the sheer number of eBay categories means that even the most seasoned eBay sellers can struggle with categorization at times. So think, what category is best for your product? When you start your listing, eBay will offer some suggestions, but consider if they are the right ones for your item. You want not only a category that adequately describes what you're selling, but also one where buy demand is strong. To increase your visibility on eBay, consider listing your product in two categories. Of course, you should only do this with products that are relevant in more than one category. Complete all item specifics where applicable, as they greatly improve the search visibility of your eBay listings. By populating item specifics with eBay filter values, you reduce the risk of being filtered out in search results. One angle you can try is prioritize your item specifics by looking at the number of searches and the by demand data for the values. Our category lookup tool, pictured here, provides you with all of the item specifics per category, whether they are required, required soon, recommended, or additional. And it gives you all the accepted eBay dropdown values and the crucial amount of searches that buyers have used and filtered on that item specific in the past 30 day period. You can prioritize this further by looking at the eBay mandates. You have a great opportunity to future proof your listings ahead of the eBay mandates whilst getting ahead of your competitors at the same time. Just to add, by populating these item specifics from mandate, this is just to get your listings to the bare minimum that eBay requires. So consider populating as many relevant item specifics as possible. Consider how your buyers filter. Put yourself in their shoes and experiment, experiment with your own searches on eBay for the same or similar items to yours. And filter it like a prospective buyer might do on both desk, desktop and more prominently on mobile. Also worth bearing in mind that completing native specifics will also help with your external SEO for search engines. From the results of doing all this, over time, you will start to see an increase in sales on your eBay listings. Your views to conversion percentage rates will increase, and this will naturally help turn around any underperforming or stale listings. There are four types of item specifics required. These must be completed to be able to publish or update your listings. And required soon, these will be newly required soon. Best advice is to complete them now. Recommended, optional, but frequently used in filters by buyers. And additional, optional, not as frequently used, but could still give you the edge, so worth looking at. Just to confirm, the required and required soon are mandatory, and this is just to get your listings to the bare minimum that eBay require. But do consider going above and beyond this. Complete all item specifics where applicable, as they greatly improve your search visibility of your eBay listings, and will also reduce the risk of being filtered out in search results. So why do they matter? Populating them will ensure your products are found on eBay's internal search results and also external search engines. Stay ahead of competitors by ranking higher and showcasing your business to be reliable and trustworthy. Filtered searches are crucial for buyers searching on mobile devices, with 50% plus of sales now happening on mobile. This leads us on to fitment data. This segment is aimed at vehicle parts and accessory sellers, where including parts compatibility data on your listings is essential for buyer confidence. Include fitment data on your parts and accessories listings for increased buyer confidence, leading to greater sales and less after sales support. We all know how frustrating it can be to have a part that just doesn't fit. 
buyers will be searching for compatible parts that fit their own particular vehicle, and they can filter searches by the vehicle details saved in their eBay garage. Listings with compatibility data will see a high percentage of sales than those without. Try to include the make, model and year or year range in your titles and also complete the brand and part numbers such as EAN and MPN. OptiSeller's Parts Compatibility Finder is a tool that will review your parts and accessories listings and try to find and provide you with a report of matching compatibility data. Remember though, you'll still be advised to populate those valuable item specifics on your vehicle parts listings. Listing quality. To keep on top of your listing quality, I will talk about our single listing review tool. The OptiSeller single listing review tool can be used in harmony with the listing quality report and various others. Our tool gives you an insight at an individual listing level, showing areas where the listing could be improved upon. To use the tool, you simply paste in an eBay item ID and it immediately evaluates four key areas of the listing. These are as follows. Listing visibility, quality, shipping and availability. Within each of these four areas, each will have their own KPIs. These will be things like title length, title quality, are multiple images being used, does the listing have a secondary category, and is fast and free shipping obtained, etc. Not shown here is the availability section. It was excluded to make space, and it contains neutral information, such as pricing, stock levels, and items sold. So you can take the eBay tips on board and use the OptiSeller tools to really dig in and review the quality of your own data. So we know what our technical levers are. Let's now take the time to look at what we can do tactically to drive more sales on eBay. When we are talking about tactical levers, we are thinking about what we actually offer to the buyer's purchase experience. What makes our store different to our competitors? There are five key areas that you can look at to boost your performance. Store overview and retail standards, seller initiated offers, promoted listings, repeated purchases, and shipping policy. Let's get stuck in. When we are talking about retail standards, think of it being the same as a shop window. Why should the shopper stop at your window and not your competitors? Make them want to come to your store and then give them an assured and exceptional purchase experience. To do this, let's look at the example on screen. We can see that the listing has a strong title with relevant keywords and specifics. And also note that the well-known high demand brand item specific Ralph Lauren is stated first in the item title. There are multiple images showcasing any product variation and also a variety of angles appropriate to the product. We see multi-buy discount has been offered, encouraging bargain hunters to get that basket value up. And strike through pricing, clearly showing the buyer why they should consider making a purchase. It's emphasizing the saving that you have on offer. Another op seller offering for your toolbox is the store performance dashboard. This is where we can provide you with a detailed overview of actionable insights that you can implement to your eBay store. OptiSeller's eBay Store Performance Dashboard acts as a marketplace manager. It identifies the areas of a listing requiring the most attention, allowing you to make the necessary adjustments to improve your listing rating. It gives you a detailed overview of the health of your data across your entire eBay Store. The dashboard analyzes over 30 KPIs, and sellers can drill into the data and easily see the areas most in need of your attention. You will identify some that you may see as quick wins and others that are maybe more onerous to complete. However, you'll get visibility of both. Some examples of the KPIs include 
total number of listings, SKUs, quantity sold, and products with or without cheat-ins. Do your titles meet minimum lengths, the quality of your item specifics, and the different shipping options offered to a customer? The second view is the tabular version of the dashboard, which allows you to spot trends over time and analyze any improvements made or identifying areas that are lacking the attention your listings deserve. The dashboard updates, on a, that updates the data on a weekly basis. Just a word of note, we've reviewed many sellers' dashboards over time, and I wanted to add that nearly every seller that we talk to has at least one area identified in the dashboard that can be improved upon. It's also worth noting that the dashboard is not meant as a replacement to seller hope, rather it can be used to complement it. eBay is a competitive marketplace and promotional activity is valued. Promotions can help listings get a better position in the search results. Promotions help showcase your listings to buyers when they are actively searching and shopping on eBay by increasing item visibility and helping to improve the likelihood of the sale. eBay is getting more crowded all the time, so it is essential that sellers use tools like this to help them become more visible and make their listings more attractive to buyers. Use eBay promotions tactically, so when you do have products listed that need that extra edge against the competition, this might be the lever to both of you. When deciding what listings are suitable for promoted listing status, think about the quality of the listing first of all. Have you done all the organic work required to assist with the promoted listing? Think about how much traffic is coming from your promoted listings. If it is the majority and your normal listings are stale, then maybe you need to take a look at the other leaders first and optimize the data. Seller-initiated offers are a bit of a hot topic at the moment. So what are they and why should we use them? Seller-initiated offers are a great opportunity to create additional sales and a tool that you should be using regularly. It allows you to send an offer to a watcher with the aim to convert them into a buyer. The criteria is that you must discount the item by at least 5% off to be able to send an offer to potential buyers. I believe the percentage can be less for items valued over 200 pounds. As the image points out, this is what you'd expect to receive as a buyer from the seller. So what's the impact and benefit of doing this? Well, it boosts your best match search ranking and improves your conversion rate when you send an offer and it ends up leading to a sale. It does this because when you consider your views or impressions versus the number of sold items, it potentially could equate to less than one view to equal a sale by using seller-initiated offers, which, as you can appreciate, dramatically improves your conversion rate. So it's a complete win-win all around for the buyer. They are getting the discount of an item, and you, the seller, because you've sold another item with a boost to your conversion, and also eBay because of the sale itself. A little stat here from eBay, when they carried out some research on the seller-initiated offer feature. Over one third of respondents said that the offer to buyers feature had the biggest positive impact on the business. So it's really worth using this nifty tool to help improve your sales and conversion rates. Appreciate we've covered a lot here, but we'll now summarize the key takeaways from this session. So really focus on getting the fundamentals right. Do them as well as you can, so you then have a really solid foundation to build upon with promotional activity. Use the multitude of levers available, such as the seller-initiated offers and promoted listings to help drive your sales and to enhance 
your eBay search visibility. Check your listings quality report and our single listing review tool regularly for tips and insights to your listings. Get to work on your underperforming stagnant listings and experiment with multi-buy options. Consider your margins, but also the reduction in postage costs by sending out, for example, three or four items in one package opposed to only one item. Go beyond the mandates while you're working on your listings. Populate further recommended and additional item specifics to gain further listing exposure through views and ultimately sales. Prioritize recommended and additional item specifics using the buy demand data. Utilize the star rating and the Optiseller's Aspect Finder Plus report, and also the number of buyer searches that can be viewed in our category lookup tool. Take advantage of Aspect Finder Plus to optimize all of your listings and use our dashboard to give you that store overview by identifying the areas of the listings requiring the most attention, allowing you to make the necessary adjustments to improve your listings rating. Just to round up, by improving all of the technical and tactical aspects that we covered today, they will combine to make a better listing and a confident buyer experience. When you get them right, they blend together to create a more appetizing offering for a, bride, a buyer. Some might say like a melting pot. Although having said that, it's not really a melting pot, it's more of a salad bowl, where each of the separate ingredients or eBay elements that have their own qualities and significance would still come together to make an offering greater than the sum of the individual parts. Think about that next time you have a salad. I realize I'm starting to talk about food, so I guess it's getting to the end of this presentation and also towards the end of the working day for some, and we might all be feeling a bit peckish. Thank you for your time, and I hope you leave here with some food for thought. Do reach out to us, Dr. Seller, and you can learn more about how we can help you with your eBay marketplace presence. Follow our blog for more information and tips on all things eBay. Also, you can take advantage of today's offer on any of our monthly plans that will give you access to the Optiseller tools for everyone who attends this session today. Use the code TEAMBAY22 for a free month saving on any 12-month Optiseller plan. Apply the code when you sign up through get.optiseller.com forward slash TEAMBAY hyphen live hyphen two two. The code is valid for three months and capped at the first 100 redemptions. I'll just leave this here for a minute. That's great. Paul, is that? Yeah, well, that's it. It's a big thank you from Officella and myself. Uh, I'll leave this here again so you can see details of how to contact us. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Paul Taylor from OptiSeller. I like that little quote you put in there at the end. It's not a melting pot, it's more of a salad bowl. Yeah. Um, and you're right, you've got me thinking about food now. So uh, thank you for that. Um, I mean, what can I say? That's a, just a really comprehensive set of tips and advice um, for optimizing your, your listings and selling yeah. more on eBay. Um, that re really was fantastic. Um, we have about... 10 15 minutes or so remaining um and we have a few questions in paul so uh, i've been monitoring the uh the q a and if anyone else has any more feel free to to send those through if we don't get through them now um we'll be able to follow up or at least paul and his team will be able to follow up separately um anyway so first question i have is do i have to fill out all the item specifics and do they really increase sales Ideally, you fill out as many as you can. Data is so important uh, on your listings. Qual and high quality data is going to help you with your search visibility and your ranking in those uh, search results, especially filtered searches. eBay will be ranking search results on completed data. And 
as I mentioned earlier, in addition, if you don't complete them, there's a chance you'll be filtered out and filtered searches. 55% of uh, eBay search activity is now filtered search, and a shopper needs to find your listing first before they can even purchase from you. So. Okay, brilliant. That's great. Um, the next question I have is to do with promoted listings. Um, so we had a session earlier from eBay talking about this and some of the new the new types of promoted listings that are that are available. Um, would you say that using promoted listings is essential to be successful on eBay? Yes, it definitely is. I, because as eBay becomes more and more crowded with competition and choice, any promotional activity is going to help you stand out from the crowd and increase your visibility. It's it's giving you it's helping you to showcase your listings. With flying the flag for your listings and getting buyers' attention. So, yes, very important. And, and it is just a follow on question from that as well. You know, is that a, is that something to, you know, put the effort in at the beginning when kind of setting things up, or is that an ongoing process to kind of manage those, those promoted listings? Well, I mentioned data quality is so important. So, you, you need your listings to, have all of the item specifics and the data and the, they need to be optimized because what you want for that conversion rate is for a buyer to land find your listing initially and then land on your listing view it and then have all of the information available to be able to make an assured purchase if they don't and they move away if they sit find your listing and they move away they're not confident enough to buy it so that can have an impact on your conversion rate Got it. Okay. All right. Thanks, Paul. A um, couple more questions here. Um, so someone's written and saying, I don't have time to action everything. Where should, um, where should, or which ones should I focus on out of everything that you've, you kind of displayed there, which would be the yeah. ones you'd recommend to focus on? Um, yeah. Getting your category correct in the first place is the, the correct category. It determines the item specifics and that's the, meaning that the item specifics will be more relevant to your product. And then once you've got the item specifics in the, in the correct category, prioritize on completing the required and also the required soon. And then the high buy demand as a priority. These are the item specifics that are being used most often by shoppers in filtered search. Got it. Okay. Um the penultimate question, because we just have another one coming in as well, but I, I, I noted this one down earlier, but does the OptiSeller tool automatically populate missing item specifics, first of all? Yes, it certainly tries to. Uh, the tool will look through your listing, title and descriptions, and try to find any matching eBay filter values and automatically make a suggestion or a recommendation on missing or custom seller-created item specifics. You still need to review them, but when, when the system finds the data and uh, matches an eBay filter value, it will, like I say, it'll make that suggestion. We also have some sort of um, bulk update features, such as find and replace, and that helps you to minimize your effort when you're optimizing your data. Great. Okay. Thank you. And and someone's just written in asking: uh, Is there an option to preview the tool, or to have a test account to see to see what it can do? Yes, we offer a, a seven day free trial, and that on our twelve month monthly plans. So yeah, so you can sign up, and then you've got seven days to uh, re evaluate the system. And then obviously there was that promo as well. So you, there's a there's a, yeah. there's a promo if you use that. Um, that code as well so it's even even, even better okay fantastic yeah, yeah. Paul thank you so much thank you for joining thank you for giving us your your, your insights your industry insights and, and technology insight there as well you're um, thanks everybody well just in terms of the information that you've you've shared here uh, Paul I'm guessing it's going to be available in the uh, in, in the supplier the sponsor showcase so people will be able to access that as well yeah. fantastic um, that brings us to the end of the first day of Tame Bay Live 22. Thank you for joining the merchant sessions. I um, just wanted to say a big thank you to the main sponsor of the event, Amazon. 
Um, it's also been a pleasure um, uh, being co-hosting today and for Avalara being being the, the day sponsor um, for, for the first day of the event. So thank you. And um, also a huge thank you to everybody who's been involved um, um, in terms of presenting um, the partners on the merchant stage, Frugo, we've had Linworks, we've had eBay, we've had Amazon, we've had OptiSeller. Also a thank you to the people backstage who, who, who don't, don't get a big shout out, but without them, this day wouldn't, wouldn't have worked as, as smoothly. So thank you to everyone in the Tame Bay team behind the team, uh, behind the scenes.